Hi, support from globaltradingsoftware.com and this is a video with the new Expat Stocks Predator. We're still in beta testing. There are still a few beta tester slots available. Check out the links below this video. Uh, so the new um, portion of this, and, and this is where we were actually wanting to get to, is our confluence meter. So when we have confluence through lots of different data, there's a strong possibility for that stock to either go up or down. We're using the insider uh, activity, the unusual options activity, and the expert algo scanner. The expert algo uh, for a six star buy or sell, for example, has 12 points of control out of 12. So a confluence of 12 different technical indicators to give us that six star buy or sell. So I just wanted to use this example today and go through what we would look for. So uh, TD, TTD. Uh, has three reds okay so that's come up with the confluence meter for a sell on the expert algo a sell on unusual options activity and a sell on insider activity so what I'm going to do is go go backwards go from insider unusual options activity and then the expert algo so when we have a when we, we can click on one of these dots and it goes straight to the thing if, for example if I just click on here it will take me to the, the expert algo scanner in the chart and you can see the six star cell right there. But what I'm going to do is going to go to insider activity first and I'm going to look at the chart there and understand um, where we are on that daily time frame. So I'm just going to move my ugly mug out of the way. So you can see down here we had during October on the 2nd of October, the 13th of October and the 20th of October, we've had quite a lot of selling from a director and from the CEO. $32 million has been taken uh, by selling those shares there. So there's something going off. We don't know what it is, but that's maybe the start of the catalyst because that starts at the beginning of October and then we get mid-October and then we get into the 20th or some, there's some more selling. We do look on the chart on the right here and we can see there is earnings on the 9th of November. So they're, they're probably just sort of consolidating their position, taking profit before earnings. They understand what earnings is going to be. So they've filled in that SEC form four, as we can see down on the software down here. And we can understand uh, quantity solved. We can even go in and have a look uh, at this particular director and see what his selling and buying history is and all that sort of thing from there. Uh, but I'm not going to go into that too in depth today. What I wanted to do is look at that confluence. So we can also see here, we've got a butterfly pattern. So it's colored in green. So harmonics look for those reversals. But this, this little zone, I'm going to zoom in here and I was going to make the chart a little bigger. This zone between 68.79 and 64.79 is where we would expect that harmonic pattern to complete this D pivot so it's still coming down okay now if we go then to unusual options activity we can see on TTD we had a strike price of 65 so a target price of 65 now the expiration has already gone on this on the 13th of the 10th you know there was a confluence on that day as well as that selling uh, large selling on that insider activity one of those three um, there and when we looked at the stock price it was 75 10 when that was uh, occurring so again let's pull those those four charts up here I uh, really want to go back to that daily chart here and we can see now um, we do have $65 is right towards the lower end of this uh, pivot. So it's a sensible technical area where we would see that strike price and that target price. A lot of selling insider activity. Uh, technical analysis says to us actually $65 for those um, puts is probably a sensible price uh, where this, this could go to before earnings. Obviously we're not gonna trade earnings but there, there could be some good short opportunities right here uh, before earnings. Oh, are there any major structural supports? I would say around 67. We've got this, uh, this pivot just here where the butterfly is at 66.77. 
uh, and then we've got the gap fill or the gap up from earnings here down to around 57 so you know there are there are gaps on earnings uh, most of the time uh, you know we get a good earnings reaction it does pull back after that though on the previous earnings when we do get the gaps um, so we we have uh, some fundamental data here some um, some insider activity a lot of shares being sold there um, we've got that unusual options activity a little later or in the middle of the month so with that with that expiration date so there, there, there is confluence there um, but that's not enough to take a short trade then we go to our expert algo scanner and now all of a sudden yesterday we get the final piece of the puzzle it's moved enough to give us that six star sell signal here remember we've got a 65 dollar target here we've got a bit of a pivot at 69.84 we have this pivot here around about 73 74 dollars here and here so caution but we have a lot of confluence we've got 12 out of 12 points of control a confluence of 12 different technical indicators giving us that six star sell signal this has come after we have the insider activity that started on the 2nd of October on the 13th of October uh, we had the expiration for that um, unusual options activity with that target of $65 we had more insider selling and then we had more insider selling at uh, on the 20th of October so we've got this these tributaries if you like with confluence making that flow stronger first of all insider activity and unusual options activity that flow starts to flow now all of a sudden these technical uh, alerts if you like the signal are saying you know there's more uh, momentum to the downside more flow to this river if you like and that's what confluence are about all of these different factors coming in to actually push it in one direction so earnings could be the brick wall that stops it and goes around but we've got time 6th of november so actually looking for those shorts between now and uh, earnings is probably a sensible type of strategy where you would look for those shorts this is a monday um you know an, an aggressive entry would be below the low of um of friday um, a conservative entry would be below the low of this pivot here if it breaks that sort of 69.84 level uh, that's when we would press go on our short with a target of 65 dollars okay so hopefully that helps it just gives you a little idea of those confluences involved both technical and fundamental to drive there remember when we looked at this here this scans over 8,000 stocks and only those ones on there have confluence from Friday and three out of three to four TTD is a massive confluence that cannot be ignored. So check out the link below. This will be released uh, to the public uh, in December 2023. So if you're watching this video after that, it's already available. Um, it's still available now for beta testers. So when we release it, it will only be by subscription only. It's our own platform. There's lots of scanners. Uh, this confluence meter is first of its kind. But if you get in now, you get it for life and you get to help test it for us with the beta tester. So check out that link below. Hopefully this really sort of explains where we're going with this Xbrat Stocks Predator.